It's been a minute, my dudes. Hi, my name is Chris. If you do know me, I'm sometimes known as Hypocrisy. Otherwise, if you're new around here, welcome to my channel. I haven't posted on here since December. It's been a hell of a long time, or it feels like a long time. And uh, yeah, I play I play Call of Duty mostly. Today you're watching some Hardpoint. It's from the Arena playlist, playing on Fringe. I'm playing with Dilly Do and uh, and Haas. Uh, it's a bit of a monster game. I think I get I drop one off a of 40 bomb. Dilly drops 50 because he's a fucking monster. And Haas goes about even. And less said about that, the better, really. But I, you know, I I don't I haven't done this in a, a long time. Mainly because I haven't played the game all that much, in all honesty. And I don't really know what's prompted me to make this video today. Apologies if you can hear a train going past in my flat. Like, I literally live, like, right by a train line. It's the worst thing ever. So I don't... I don't. This is going to seem random to a lot of you guys that are either sub to me or, or stumbled across this video. And, you know, apologies for that. Like, I, I don't really know what prompted me to post today. But I've been playing the game a lot more recently. And it's been super fun, like, and I've always stuck to playing Arena, or League Play, whatever you're familiar with in terms of this sort of competitive playlist. And it's been really cool, it's been really nice to just hop on and play with friends again, and I, you know, I think there's been a combination of things as to why, or reasons as to why I haven't been playing all that much, but I just don't enjoy playing public games on this game anymore, like, Generally, like I could, I could bore you to death with the reasons behind it, but it's just not the, it's not the same anymore. Like, and it's not, well, that it's it is partly the players' fault because there just are people out there that play like absolute mongs. But overall, it's it's the fault of the game, and and you know the the, the way Call of Duty's played has, has changed massively over the last two games, especially. And it just it's just not a fun it's just not a fun thing to to experience anymore so that's obviously going to have impacted any regularity in terms of posting videos because I never really posted Arena because A Arena is super competitive and 9 times out of 10 you are playing against people that are half decent which means that you're never going to be you know you're never really going to be consistently dropping you know serious seriously good gameplay scores and you know S and D is a bit hit and miss really anyway but it's actually quite fun posting a hardpoint game. I haven't posted hardpoint before. I don't think on this channel really, and it's quite hard to edit. I'll be honest with you. Like, I mean, generally because I haven't done this in so long, it was difficult to edit anyway. I like I had to remember how to put like color correction, and it took me about half an hour just to find the fucking file. I don't know where my Elgato stored it, but it was lurking in the depths of my computer somewhere. But um, you know, it's it's really cool to be able to post this, and it, it was a fun game. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that anyway. I didn't really know what I, I didn't set out to talk about anything in particular in this video, and I'm certainly not going to talk about the new games that are on the horizon. But I think like I, I watch. I've been watching a lot of videos that were previously posted. I mean, I do this a lot, right? So I, I watch like old videos that I've posted, videos that my friends posted, some of the S and D sort of community channel videos, because it's awesome to be able to have that online it's like taking a trip down memory lane the nostalgia is just amazing like honestly and uh you know and some of tyler or dysfunction's recent videos like he's touched on that nostalgia aspect and i i genuinely like remember where i was a lot of the time when i watched those videos like i remember what point in my life i was like what i was going through i remember all the memories that came with making some of those videos and the experiences that i've shared and it's a truly special thing, like, you don't realise, just in terms of the creative outlet that YouTube is, like, how how much fun it, it really can be, and how rewarding it is as well. And I think, like, that combined with playing the game more has, has kind of motivated me to just make a video, like, and I know I'm not, you know, I'm not going to commit to doing this again anytime soon. I might do, you know, I don't know. I am looking forward to the new games, mainly Modern Warfare. Sorry, that's that's completely wrong. I'm not looking forward to the new title, Infinite Warfare, at all, to be honest. Because, it, you know, for me, like the game, the game's just not the same, and it, I just feel like it's their extensions. Like both Black Ops Three, although I do enjoy Black Ops Three, and particularly the Arena playlist. I feel like Black Ops Three, and uh, you know, Infinite Warfare are extensions of Advanced Warfare, and that, you know, that was the first game that really changed the sort of meta of this game, and. I'm not excited about the new one. Like it looks okay. Like there's some things that look pretty cool, and you know, obviously aesthetically the games get better every year, kind of. 
But Modern Warfare Remastered is going to be super fun. Like that's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Call of Duty title. And the fact that it's going to be revamped in a new format, and you know, it's just generally boots on the ground. And what I, you know, for those of you who don't know what I mean by that, is like it's, it's the old, the old style Call of Duty again. I'm really excited about that because I think it's going to create a lot of opportunities to maybe make some more videos again, and we'll sort of um, generate a lot more hype and sort of creativity from some of the other guys that post. And it's just fun for everyone to do that together. But you know, honestly, like, I just, I really miss posting a video and having people interact with me, either in the comments or on Twitter, about the topic or just in general. Like, it's it's a really satisfying thing to be able to do. And it's not easy to, to do this. Like, you know, I'm not saying I'm incredible or I'm really talented or anything, but, you know, to practice commentaries and to develop a, a personality and a style takes a lot of work and to do YouTube on a regular basis takes a lot of work just by what anyone says like to be able to continue that momentum to stay relevant to stay new and unique and you know find a niche is, is incredibly challenging and I for me like I've just generally missed like everything that comes with it you know and I've been I've been through so much in my life like the last few years and I probably could have used YouTube more in terms of not venting, but you know, talking about things that people can relate to and dis and discussing things because you know I'm I've been through a lot and it's it's been really challenging and I don't feel like I'm completely there mentally in terms of being completely confident or happy with everything that I'm going through. And who knows? I might not ever get there. I might. I might, you know. Hopefully, I will at some point. But you know, just just being able to use YouTube as a platform to sort of you know exert your feelings is something that people should never really take for granted because it, it's really rewarding and you know I was I was like borderline depressed like at one point and it's very it's very it's a very lonely feeling like generally like it's 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 just not a nice thing to go through for anyone and I, you know I'm not going to talk too much about that but you know I've, I generally thought that YouTube was always somewhere where I could just come and, to, providing I had the gameplay footage, like just come and, and talk to people. Like it, it doesn't necessarily have to be like an advice video or a tips and tricks video or a let's play or you know a live commentary. It's just really nice to be able to come on, plug everything in, hit the record button, and just talk to people and have people respond to that. And you know maybe maybe this video will kickstart some momentum in that respect. But you know I just I just I love the fact that this is a thing. And you know, I you know, I'm not going to preach about how I want to get so many subscribers anymore or anything like that because it's really it's going to be really hard for me to negotiate negotiate to um, I don't know gain any gain any more momentum in terms of subscribers and interaction. But you know, we'll see what happens. And uh, you know, for those of you that have stayed subscribing and will see this video, I really do appreciate it. Like it's really nice to have you guys watch this, um, and I, I truly enjoy doing it. So I don't really know what's going to happen in the future. And uh, you know we'll we'll see what happens with the new the, the new cods. But I've been playing a lot recently with with my buddies, and uh, it's been a really fun time. But I've missed it. I've missed you know being being involved with this again. And uh, it'd be really nice if it could it could turn into something, you know, once more like it used to be. But we'll see what happens. I appreciate. It. I probably just talked about nothing for like eight minutes or so. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless, and I will see you soon.